Welcome to the Monday nights. Yeah, it's uh, it's Tuesday actually. We're doing this every week where I realize that the Monday nights are on Tuesday. I know this for three years now. But yeah, we're still doing it. The show was opened by Cody Rhodes saying something along the lines What do you guys want to talk about? I want to talk about war games. Oh, oh, why am I talking like this? What is going on with me? What, what, what is going on with me? But after Cody Rhodes was done with his little speech, rest of his team came out, aka Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, and after that, they have been interrupted by the Judgment Day. The Judgment Day obliterated them from all eyes. No, I'm, that's not true. Basically, the Judgment Day have spit some bars. And at the end, Cody Rhodes was like, where is your leader? Where is your mommy? Who is your leader? And Damien was like, I'm the leader. And I want this kind of statement to start some drama within the Judgment Day. But actually, when they went backstage and Mami asked Damien what was that leadership thing that you said that you are and uh, all that conversation led to the fact that Damien is actually going to be the leader for the, ju the Judgment Day match at Survivor Series so I don't know what exactly is going on I don't know if the Survivor Series match is going to be 5v5 but I'm going to get to that in a second from the opening to show to Sami Zayn and Seth Rollins versus JD McDonough and Dominic Mysterio and of course uh, the match ended uh, by DQ because Judgment Day interfered because Cody Rhodes interfered because Jey Uso interfered everyone interfered and basically there was a rule for the end of the night match which is Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso versus the Judgment Day for the Undisputed Tag Team titles for everyone to be banned from ringside and I'll get that to that in a second because it's really interesting trust me after that we had Otis versus Shinsuke Nakamura and usually I would have been mad but before that match Shinsuke Nakamura had a wonderful promo where he was like I'm gonna be waiting and I'm gonna be doing some stupid shit right now but don't worry I'm watching you I'm watching you and I'm gonna be the last call for you or something like that and basically I'm pretty sure that he's talking about Seth Rollins and that gets me hyped up because maybe down the line we're gonna see Shin versus Seth for a third time and maybe that's gonna be the time after that Tegan Knox versus Piper Niven I thought that Tegan Knox is injured but somehow he got even the W which is weird because I thought that, that Piper Niven is unbeatable. Great stuff, what else I can say? After that, Tommaso Ciampa versus Ludwig Kaiser and Ludwig Kaiser won because Giovanni Vinci helped him. I don't know what to make of this, like I cannot say anything right now to be honest. Maybe next week we're gonna see Johnny Gargano versus Giovanni or Ludwig Kaiser versus Johnny Gargano. I don't know how the things will go. I'm positive for the future. That's all I'm gonna say about this whole DIY, Imperium, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, Ludwig Kaiser, Giovanni Vinci, Creed Brothers, maybe even type of shit. Also, because last week I thought that Creed Brothers maybe are heels, they're not. They're they're hanging out with the Alpha Academy, so basically that means that they're not here, so... False alarm! After that, we had Zaya Lee versus Indy Hartwell, and the match ended by referee stoppage, because Zaya Lee has that deadly kick, that knockout for Indy Hartwell, and she couldn't move any further, and all of that stuff but welcome to the big time Becky Lynch came out and she was like Zaya Lee now we're gonna do this on my terms next week I'm gonna kick your ass and yeah next week Becky Lynch versus Zaya Lee I kind of wanted this for Survivor Series but uh, next week is gonna cut it as well maybe uh, next week they're gonna have a match 
the match will end the exact same way like in the Hartwell match and they're gonna do it for Survivor Series. But the chances are low because next week is Survivor Series, so I don't know, the chances are super slim. After that, second to last, Ivor versus The Miz. And the only reason Miz won was because of Bronson Reed, which is kind of underwhelming for him going against Gunther. I'm pretty sure that he's not gonna get the title from Gunther, but I want to see a great match and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna see a great match, so I can't wait. Next, Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso versus Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day, the Undisputed Tag Team Champions. And, of course, we all knew that the Judgment Day is gonna retain, but how would they retain when everyone from the Judgment Day is banned from ringside? Everyone from the Cody side is banned from ringside. What the Judgment Day are gonna do? Are they gonna have a clean victory over Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso when they beat them two times? Actually, without the interference of Jimmy, of course. No, both of the teams were down. Jay was laying down outside the ring and we saw Drew McIntyre who kicked the head out of Jay Uso. He tossed him into the ring. Judgment Day retained. After all of this, Rhea Ripley came out and she handshake Drew McIntyre, which meant, I don't know exactly what it meant, but I kind of hope for Drew McIntyre to join the Judgment Day at War Games as a fifth member. And next week, Seth, Cody, Sami and Jay to pick a fifth member on their team as well. And these to be the War Games. I don't know. It was pretty hype. It was pretty good thing. And watching all of these today made me realize how much of a show it actually is. It's way much more show than it is wrestling, both AEW and WWE, and it's all about the show. It doesn't matter that much the wrestling. The more and more I watch, it's, yeah, just a food for thought. Anyway, if I was rating Monday Night Raw, I would have given it nine out of 10, actually. I have nothing to complain. I don't want to give it a 10 because I don't feel like I'm com competent enough to give 10s yet. But one day, maybe I'll give a 10 somewhere, somewhat, somehow. So yeah, without any further ado, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for NXT. Peace.